So recursive functions actually aren't that bad. You just have to really follow the directions they give you and be sure not to make any mistakes along the way. So let's see if I can get through this without making any mistakes. So we have find f of 2 comma 12 and we see that it's the x is less than the y. So we're going to follow this first equation up here. So that's f of f of x, which is 2, plus 4. So that's going to yield f of 6, comma 1. So f of 6, comma 1, I can see that x is greater than y in this situation. So we're going to add both x and y, which will give us 7. And then we have a comma, which I wrote down there. And then we have f of y minus 2, so 12 minus 2, which is f of 10, comma 2. So x is greater than y in this case again, so we're going to have 12 because we add them both up. And then don't forget that plus x over there. So our x in this case is 2. And then we have to go through this again because this calls another function in which x is less than y. So we're going to do f of f of x plus 4, which is 7 plus 4, so 11. So that's going to be f of 11 comma 1. And x is greater than y, so we're going to add both 11 and 1 together to get 12. And then we have f of y minus 2, so 12 minus 2 is 10 again, comma 2, so that's going to be the same thing. So we're going to get 12 there, plus x, which is 7. And then we're going to call another function again, except we see that x is equal to y this time. So we have f of 2 times x, so 2 times 12 is 24, comma y, which is 12, minus y, which is 12. Okay, so now we see that uh, f of 24, 12 is going to call this third one, since x is now greater than y, so x plus y is 36. So we're going to have 36 minus 12, which is 24. And so we said that this function simplifies to all of this. So f of 12 comma 12 is equal to 24. So 24 plus 7 is 31. And then we said that f of 7 comma 12 equals 31. So we're just going to add 2 to that to get 33. And that's your answer.